Yeah, yeah. Go, going back to this this thing with the disc brakes, I I think we need for the safety to cover the bri cover the discs up and. Um, and with that, come up with a system where you can effectively leave the disc in the in the bike, so the the, the disc is effectively a, an integral part of the bike, and you just drop the wheel in and out, and uh, there's some sort of a locking mechanism that, but then then um, makes the wheel sort of uh, grip with the disc, and and you can use it like that. The problem is also when you um, when you're running a disc brake, the moment you undo the quick release. And then tighten it back up again. It's changed the, the alignment of the disc in the in the caliper slightly. So you'll always end up with a, with a disc rubbing ever so slightly. And to me, that that's just, that that would be just really annoying. And um, the discs float slightly, but it's just so easy, isn't it? Just to, to, to shake things up a little bit and make it just yeah. a little bit not quite perfect. Yeah, yeah. I mean, when you say they float slightly, it's it still means that they float and touch. Yeah. Um, at any it's point, if something is not fixed, yeah. it's always going to end up touching the touching the disc at some point. And uh, I mean, I'm for all for marginal gains, and uh, I, as far as I'm concerned, that's a marginal loss as soon as you got something rubbing. Um, there's a weight penalty. There's an aerodynamic penalty. Uh, there's a there's a there's a braking advantage, particularly in the wet, in as much as you you know you're, you're sure. Well, I know. Uh, I mean, I hear what you're saying that the, in being able to modulate the brake, being able to sort of uh, pull the brake and get the proper feel, uh, and that is that seems to be the major uh, challenge at the moment. But, but yeah. But the, the the problem I see though, uh, and with, with, especially with, with in rim wet. calipers, I suppose in in wet conditions, there is that little momentary lapse before the uh, the pads are able to sort of uh, gain, you know, create the right mm. friction onto the surface of the. But then, but then. Yes, there's a very, very minor um, issue with that. But the problem you got with a disc brake is there's too much stopping power in the wet, which means that you've got no grip whatsoever. And the only thing that's going to happen is the bike is snaking underneath you like crazy. I'm yeah. currently running discs on, on a bike, um, and in the wet, I just can't get my head around the stopper, how to, how to stop the bike without sliding around. I'm struggling with it in the dry, and even just using one finger. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm not a big fan of it, and I'm certainly not a big fan of the potential injuries that are involved in, in the rotor that's spinning around. And um, although UCI are saying that they have to be rounded off and all the rest of it, I'm sorry, but a round object um, spinning around at high velocity is still going to cut some. Well, it's a, a debate that will rage through to the end of the week and beyond. Uh,